Hey, it's Elder here, and I'm here with a special guest and a good friend of mine, who is Chef Anthony. And basically, Chef Anthony has taught me a lot of skills over the years. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been very good friends. He is a uh, an amazing chef, to say the least. He's taught me a lot of culinary skills. Uh, he's not only been a great friend, he's also been a mentor. And I want to go ahead with my Wicked Edge 130 sharpener and, uh, let's say, pay a favor forward to one of my good friends and mentors chef anthony all right so i have chef anthony's knife here and just looking right at it and uh, using a little bit of my experience i could tell that it still has a decent edge on it but it uh definitely has a couple dings in it and we want to go ahead and get rid of that and since this is a special knife for chef anthony i want to be very careful with it and i want to be careful with the stones that i choose to sharpen it with so today the stones that i'll actually be using are starting with the 1500 grit and i'm going to go ahead and work my way up to the 0.6 micron grit that'll give it a wicked edge a super razor sharp edge and get rid of any of these little imperfections that it currently has but overall, this knife is in pretty good shape, so uh, I don't want to take up or take off uh, too much metal, and that's why I'm choosing to go with these assortments of stones today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my knife set up here, or actually get Chef Anthony's knife here set up so that we could get a nice, sharp razor edge on it. Keep in mind that I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the sharpening process, if you do want to learn more about that, be sure to check out my previous videos on the Wicked Edge sharpening system, and I will place the links in the description as well as in the top right corner now. You're currently employed by uh, Facebook, New York City? Yes. I'm an executive as one chef. of their executive chefs. Excellent. Or their executive chef. Pretty impressive. So, uh, Chef Anthony, if you want, uh, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, and of course, I want you to get into the knife that you chose for me to sharpen for you. Well, <clears throat> thank you. Thanks, uh, Coach Elder. Um, basically, I'm, I'm a professional chef. I've been a professional chef for about 20 years now. I've been friends with Helder way longer than that. Uh, so it's, uh, I was very honored when he told me to bring one of my special knives over uh, and that he was gonna sharpen it. Um, for me using this special system. Being that a lot of my knives are very special, um, I uh, decided to bring one that I pretty much use every day. Um, so um, the special part about this knife is not that it was, it's not my most expensive knife. Now what do you think is the major difference, let's say, between these high-end uh uh, kitchen knives that you, you, you're used to using, let's say, in those fancy kitchens. And then something like this that might be something that uh, that I would use in my own kitchen. Um, the major difference, I think, when it comes down to um, expensive knives versus uh, more economical choices would be the steel. Um, the steel that's used in the construction, um, first of all. Uh, second would be the construction itself, the shape, the ergonomics. Um, the feel of the handle, of uh, the handle material, uh, and third, um, basically is, is more personal, is the size and, um, and shape and something that feels good in your hand and that's going to do the job for you. But uh, it's a knife that it's, it stays in my kitchen. It's not in my knife kit at work, but it's something I use every day in my home kitchen. Uh, it was given to me by my, uh, my sister-in-law. And um, it's it was it's just a, it was a great gift, and I find it very handy. It's got a beautiful handle. Uh, it's a high carbon steel, stainless steel, uh, which is great. It holds a, it holds a nice edge, uh, and it's easy to sharpen. Um, but it's it's got some use, and it's been a little time since I cool. did sharpen it, uh, which I use. So uh, I'm excited to get this all tuned up and sharpened and ready to go again. Now, would you consider using this knife, especially after it's been sharpened? by the Wicked Edge Sharpener in uh, your Facebook kitchen. Um, absolutely. I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a great knife. If it, if it wasn't a great knife uh, to use every day, I probably wouldn't use it at home either. You can't wait to touch it, huh? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's really amazing. 
I mean, I could see it visually. Already? I could tell that all the, the little dings and imperfections are, are gone. That's pretty awesome. Uh, man. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty wicked sharp right there, man. That is no joke. <clears throat> so what do you think there, Chef? Unbelievable. This is better than the day it came out of the factory. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. That's uh, no joke, and that's really how I felt about these uh, Wicked Head sharpening systems. Once I got them playing all those years back in the day, you know, between the Boy Scouts, between the U.S. Marines, and always trying to... All I did really is destroy steel. Yeah. <laughs> and now I realize this is really what we're supposed to do, and this is what a uh, Wicked Edge is supposed to be all about. This is great. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, brother, uh, it's been a pleasure for me. Thank you for all the uh, lessons and all the mentoring over the years and i'm glad i was able to uh, pay it back by uh making a wicked edge with our wicked edge sharpener awesome thank you enjoy brother <laughs>